Oh, I love this Panda game. Panda Hero Remastered. It's so, so much fun. Whee! Oh! I did not know I was recording. Uh, well, hello, everybody. Hopefully, you are all doing amazingly well today. Thank you so very much for stopping into my video. So today, I wanted to show you something that I thought was pretty cool. So let's go to our notifications down here. And what do we have there? Debug menu. Heck yeah. And let's go into it. Oh, okay. So there's activate WebKit. So there is activate URL redirector and then an activate Google. So maybe let's try one of these. Activate WebKit. Hey, there's my host, but that could easily be replaced with Echo Stretches 7 and 1, which we'll probably do that. Let's see what else do we have. We have activate URL redirector. Ah, excellent, excellent, excellent. So now if I wanted to go to any other site, then I could easily do that. And we'll see what else we've got. And then just activate Google. Awesome. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that on your PlayStation 5 system. So let's go ahead and let's jump over to the PC. Okay, so back over on the PC, I created this GitHub repo, which is something that I'm probably going to use a bit in the future here, basically to store some of my notes as well as the files. So I know for the most part, a lot of the times when we see files that are distributed on Twitter or wherever, a lot of the times those hosts go down. Maybe the file is reported and the host just takes it down. So I wanted to be able to store some of these files inside of this repo where if you wanted to make a copy of this, then you could. You could just simply fork the repo and kind of go from there. So anyway, going back to how do you get this notification box on your PlayStation 5? Well, it is a bit easy here. So just looking at these instructions, the first one is, is that you can come right here and you can download one of the notification databases that I already have. So there is this notification database, which the Activate WebKit goes to Echo Stretches 7 in one site. And then we have another one over here that just points to mine. So you can use whichever one of these that you would like. But there is something that you're going to need to do, which we're going to cover in just a moment. And the location of this is going to be over here in System Data Priv MMS. And the file it should be named notification2.db. So let's go ahead and let's connect up via FTP and let's navigate over to this directory. Okay, back over in FileZilla. Again, this is my PS5's IP address and we are going to use port 1337. If you want to know how to get the FTP server running on your PlayStation 5, obviously I've got a couple of videos that describe exactly how you can do that. And so once you get connected, just come back over to this video and you can continue from there. So we need to head over to the system data and then priv, and then we need to go to MMS. Now inside of this, you'll find that there is a notification2.db file on your PlayStation 5. At this point, you want to simply drag and drop that back over to your local PC because that's what we're going to be working with in just a moment. So go ahead and do that now. And if you haven't already, you will want to go ahead and just come in here and take one of these and just download it as well too. Okay, and so I'm just using DB Browser for SQLite here, and you're gonna want to go to where it says Open Database. And now at this point, navigate to wherever you downloaded your notification to .db, and then just press open. And now the field that you're going to want to look for here is going to be the user ID. So come to the user ID field right here and then just copy that out with a copy there and just save that maybe in a notepad, etc. That way we can put that into the new notification2.db. 
So once you have your user ID copied out, you can go ahead and just close out of your existing database. And now you can open the database that you just downloaded from my GitHub site. And so in this instance, we're going to be using the notification to from Echo Stretch right here where it has user ID, paste in your user ID. Now mine already has the user ID of my currently logged in user, so I don't have to make a modification here, but go ahead and put yours in here. And then down at the bottom, typically there is a button that you have to hit to apply it. And then you want to go ahead and write the changes. Now, one other thing to note while we are in here is, is that if you go to the raw data here, you'll notice that there is a couple of different sites that's located in here. So activate WebKit. This is where it goes to Echo Stretch's site here, the activate URL redirector. And then there's another one here for activate Google. Now, if you wanted to, you could set up more URLs. And so if any of this text you'd like to change, go ahead and make that change and then apply it. And then obviously go back and write the changes. And then once you write the changes, we're going to hit close database. Okay. And so now at this point, you would head back over to your FTP. You would take your notification to .db and just drag and drop it into your MMS folder located in system data priv MMS. And so that is the notification part. Now there's also an icon that you can add in there too. And let's do that now. So if we scroll down into this page, we can see that there is another file right here called setting.png. And that file just simply looks like this right here. It's just the setting icon. Now from here, you're going to need to navigate to this location, which is user slash data, and you're going to need to create this notify directory before adding in the image. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at our FTP. So over here, we're going to go to user and we're going to go to data and there is the notify folder. Now keep in mind, mine is already added on my system. You'll just need to create this folder as well. You can easily do that, but just right clicking if you're using FileZilla and then creating a directory. And then you're gonna to want to drag and drop that setting.png into this same folder right here. And so now that you've got both of those pieces in place, that is absolutely it. Now, inside of this post, I did add a little bit of extra information as well as some other videos and stuff in case you want to kind of check those out. But I did want to wrap up this part by saying all of the credit for this goes to Jose Gonzalez uh, for the exploration and even providing the original notification 2.db file that all of this is based off of. So many thanks to you for that work. And so now at this point, we'll just go back out of this and we're going to go down to notifications. And if you did everything correct, then you will have a menu just like this. So anyway, thank you so very much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Michael out.